goodness welcome back to my channel you guys I'm so excited about this video my skin is looking way better than I thought it was gonna be when I started filming this video before we get into everything this video is going to be about my experience with the chemical pill that I did I'm gonna get into everything what pill I used uh, what was the percentage of the pill, what products I used to take care of my skin during the peeling process, everything. So, y'all sit tight. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. My name is Leah Lee. I do a ton of different videos on my channel. I'm so happy that we have made it, you guys, to the last month of the year. It is a blessing. I'm so thankful for all of the subscribers that I have gained throughout this entire year. I love y'all. Welcome to the family. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Comment down below, pound dope. I'm coming back to everybody. That's kind of what I do. I'm a people person. I love y'all. Y'all show love to me and I show love back. Okay, you guys, so it is a long day after work, so excuse me if I look a little run down. I don't have any makeup on, clearly, and I have not even moisturized my skin because I wanted y'all to see what my skin is currently looking like without any moisturizer or anything on it. So first, what pill did I do? I did the, I don't know if you guys are aware with the brand Clarity. It is Clarity RX and I used the salicylic pill and a little bit of the lactic pill together. I know any other estheticians out there are like, girl, wait, what? Er. But for everybody that doesn't know what salicylic and lactic pills are, here goes a little brief description. A salicylic pill is the main pill that is going to help people with an acneic prone skin. It is a beta hydroxy acid unlike the AHAs which are the alpha hydroxy acids. The salicylic pill um, kind of like regulates the cells and the pores to slow down really and regulate the sebum that is uh, produced in the skin which sebum equals acne a lot of times majority of the time now the lactic pill is milk derived hence lactic and it helps with hyperpigmentation as well as any sunspots age spots anything that will make the skin look dull or have the complexion looking uneven okay so those are the two pills that I use they were 15% as far as the pH I'm not sure what the pH of the pills are it isn't listed and I tried to find it on uh, the internet on the website of Clarity RX clinical pro website for the professionals estheticians dermatologists blah 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 it was not even listed up there so I'm not sure if that's something that's normally listed with chemical pills or not, but I don't know. I want y'all to know that our pH is normally in between 4.5 and 6. The lower the number, the stronger, the more acidic. The higher the number, the more based out and plain it is. And I forgot the word right now because I'm trying to stay on a roll. But the higher the number, is, you don't want to be too high, you don't want to be too low. You want to be right in the middle. The lower the peel the deeper it penetrates into the skin so I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh my god I'm gonna go ahead and do like a two a one or two pill which is like a TCA pill we're not gonna get into that that's a whole different story but you don't want to do that because you can cause more damage than what you already have or what you feel like you already have on top of your skin now so going into what the process was how the process went with my chemical pill I perform my own chemical pill you guys typically depending on if this is your first time getting a pill or however the strong the intensity of the pill is you do not want to have it on skin no longer than three minutes honestly you guys I don't believe I have my on for a minute and 30 seconds maybe one minute and 45 seconds at the time I was not clocking the time I was just kind of you know applying it and I will go as you know what I'm saying kind of like feel it as you go and I'm like alright maybe this is time to take it off let me tell y'all something okay oh one quick thing the way that you time a pill is from the moment that you start applying it not from the moment that you finish applying it to your entire face so if you re you start on this side and you start that's the that's the time that you start timing it not from when you're like okay just finished it now start the timer no no you guys I did this entire side of my face everything was cool I started on this side of my face and 
under here around my mouth around here a little bit but more so all on this right side of my face around my nose under here under here it's still actually a little dark right here but i believe it's done peeling i have started to burn and being an esthetician when you hear clients say that you're burning you want to ask them if do you feel like it's tingling or do you feel like it's unbearable and like your skin is on fire i lied to y'all not it felt like my skin was close to a fire and we was about to burn <laughs> like burn baby burn okay that's exactly what my face felt like and i've never felt my face feel like that before so as soon as i felt that i automatically looked in the mirror mind you um i didn't have a mirror where i was at i was strictly going off of my cell phone camera do not try this at home you guys you know what i'm saying do this let a professional do this aka professional right here in the making i'm a professional but i rather practice on myself and learn than practice on other people and have them in a predicament where i'm like oh my god what did i do to this person i began frosting for those that do not know what frosting is because i'm pretty sure the most and the majority of everybody does not know what frosting is frosting is when your face has like a white dewy look on it it turns your face turns white not white like paper white but you can tell a difference it looks like sunscreen is not rubbed in all the way my skin began to frost and it's because the acidic solution has exfoliated the top layer of my skin off not off as far as like oh when i rub this my skin is going to come off with it but it's exfoliating and the top layer it has exfoliated through now as soon as you see or feel frosting or you know what i'm saying we can't you can feel it because it feel like your skin is on fire but as soon as you see it you want to go ahead and wash it off that's what happened to my skin so what i did i washed it off i used some four by fours it's basically like a cloth a cloth that we use when we're doing facials or etc extractions and i just put i use cold water and i placed them all over my face for a good three to five minutes because i could not get the burning sensation to go away now at this point y'all i was terrified okay i'm scared because i'm like oh my god what did i do to myself <laughs> i was scared as heck so i wish i would have taken a picture in the midst of everything because this was a total learning experience for me um so I, but i couldn't you know what i'm saying you gotta think fast in situations like that and i had to think fast and react fast so i use water and i use a bunch of toner um so with some pills and certain skincare lines they do have um solutions where it can neutralize the skin that line specifically did not have anything like that that i'm aware of so i use toner and i use lots of lots of cold water and four by fours now it did get to the point where it did calm down and i'm like okay well, my skin is still intact i'm not bleeding i don't feel like my skin is falling off so i'm still alive and i'm good so you know i continue to wash cleanse the face i actually cleansed my face again because i was so nervous so i cleansed my face again and then i ended up putting a mask on I ended up putting a mask on and it was um like an oatmeal like a calming mask something very very calming and i let that sit up there for a little bit of time right, now i was playing the waiting game the waiting game what i mean by that is seeing how my skin is going to react to what i just did to it first of all i did this chemical peel literally like a week ago tomorrow so tomorrow is wednesday well today is wednesday because that's when i'm gonna upload the video but i did it a, a day before thanksgiving that night when i had you know what i'm saying i was out and about grocery shopping and i knew when i was like out in public i felt like my face being red being warm and red i knew it i knew something was different after the pill so i'm like okay i feel like my face even my eye felt like a little different because y'all know the skin up under your eye is very thin and it's very fragile so if anything bothers it more than likely it's going to irritate the eye as well so my eye felt a little different not as far as me being able to see but it just felt watery and sensitive all of this skin was sensitive all on this side of my face 
So I'm like, okay, well, I know I need a moisturizer. I know I probably should get like some aloe vera. I need anything that will help me calm my skin down. I'm gonna insert a video of the night that I got this pill done. And here goes that video. Now I have videos and pictures throughout this entire process up until now, and I'm still going to take pictures and stuff like that just because I want to see my face once it's completely finished. And I want to be able to look back and look over where I started until where I am now. The peeling process, the peeling process began, I want to say on the second day, like literally the second day after the pill. So what was that, a Friday? I began peeling and it was a little bit of peeling. I insert some pictures and stuff as I'm talking. It wasn't much peeling, but you can kind of tell where the skin was tight and like as you naturally move your face, your skin kind of likes, it did not, I won't say crack, but at the same time, if something is going on, it's going to lift. So just like if you were to put like a mask on or something like that, like a, a clay mask, you know, if you move your face or try to move, it's going to crack in certain areas. So that's what was going on. That's had that that's going on even now um, in certain areas, not so much anymore, especially around the mouth area and the nose. It was definitely cracking and pulling in certain areas, not uncomfortable, but just that skin was lifting and peeling off easier because this is consistently like different facial movements so my skin was and it's not so much anymore but it was sensitive to the touch meaning when i was washing it it was a little sensitive i don't know if it's because the skin was lifting and trying to peel off or what it was but even more so when i was applying moisturizer it was super sensitive even this morning it was oddly sensitive and i'm just like okay well when is that sensitivity going to go away um i don't feel it right now and it's probably because that skin has fallen off it is a lot of it is off since um this morning um when i got home of course i was washing my face really nice and good i did a really good wash when i came home today and to make sure to try to get some of that dead skin off even more because I haven't been scrubbing, I haven't been using a washcloth or any other ways of exfoliating my skin. I've just been skin on skin contact and a gentle cleanser. Technicalities is over. Y'all see my skin. I'm gonna upload so many more pictures at the end of this video if y'all wanna see me from the beginning to now. I'm gonna have everything up there. This pill was not a TCA pill. I want to get that very, very clear. I want, to, I want that to be clear. This is not a TCA extreme deep, um, deep pill. It wasn't, it, it wasn't meant for that. Um, it's just strictly for acne because I have been breaking out like crazy. So it is controlling the sebum, controlling the cells, controlling the turnover of the cell growth, and also the lactic acid is to help with the hyperpigmentation. I want to let y'all know the products that I've been using to care for my skin as I talk with my hands, uh, as, I care, as I'm trying to care for my skin and do all this other stuff, okay? So one thing's first, um, I've been taking vitamins again, hair, skin, and nail vitamins, and specifically these vitamins that I was actually sent um over the summer I had did a review on it and everything and honestly I was really truly shocked at how my skin and my hair reacted with these pills this is not nothing being branded this is strictly me talking to y'all about what I've been taking again there was like a package of like a three month supply that time I had only taken the one month so I have like two bottles left I'm currently taking these right now and I know that I've had a good uh, reaction with these so I'm like I am need to go ahead and use these again because I know that I reacted well with them my skin everything my hair everything so this is the right here inner you I believe y'all can find these on Amazon sorry I had a brain fart on Amazon 
and I have also been taking folic acid again and it normally says take like one a day I take typically two I don't be the norm I need to take more also of these pills I take two of these I literally take two because I know that's what I need to take okay so as far as a cleaner my cleanser my gentle sensitive skin cleanser now these products that I've used I've used them before when I was in school these were actually the products that were um, in our tuition and that we practice with so this brand is called Pavonia Botanica and don't just just ignore this little number right here that I was, I was using these in school so that's what I knew the order of the products before I actually learned protocol so this is actually the lotion um, sensitive skin lotion it's a toner basically a lotion in a toner form yeah I need to spray this right now I'm actually wait to spray this because my skin is dying to get some moisturization right now but I'm gonna try to show y'all everything right quick as far as a deeper moisturizer I was using this in like the early stages of the pill meaning like the first four days I was using this heavy and I'm still using it but I was definitely like pounding loading this stuff onto my face because those first couple days are extremely crucial on how you take care of your skin so this is Cetaphil moisturizing body very dry sensitive skin and this is all the way to the rich you go light and then it's a medium and then it's a rich I know that I needed rich because my skin was severely traumatized after that chemical pill so uh, this okay so I'm gonna say this dermatologist tested that all of them are one thing that I did like this is is for the body of course they have facial lotions but I really wanted something that was gonna be thick and that I didn't have to keep reapplying so that's the main thing as well as something that is is not going to clog my pores or help acne represent itself it is fragrance free and uh, this stuff it don't smell like nothing literally that's weird it doesn't smell like anything it doesn't have it does not have the slightest smell but also I have been using aloe vera I use aloe vera literally I'm not gonna lie to y'all I used that aloe vera one time and if y'all seen it on my snapchat and on my Instagram I said it was my skin it's like a serum it is really truly good but the fact that it is so daggone messy is what I cannot wrap my hand around like my head it's just like oh my god I gotta continuously dip my fingers in this slimy stuff and apply it to my face and it dries almost instantly but it is truly healthy for your skin you guys powder I want to say that I have been using is my cocoa butter stick I live by the cocoa butter stick like I think that it has actually been helping my dark spots even more um, it is super oily I love it and it just feels like it feeds my skin especially at night when I go to bed I oil down in cocoa butter the real 100% cocoa butter stick nothing added to it pictures videos everything about to be coming um, once I finish blabbering I hope y'all enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful I hope it was everything everybody has been waiting for um, this wasn't no extreme oh my god my skin is falling off pill like that a lot of videos on um, YouTube are I'm extremely happy that I don't need that type of pill um, the thing to realize is what you need and what you don't need and to just find that balance with your skincare if y'all have any questions concerns compliments y'all know what to leave them down in the description <laughs> I love y'all hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving um, and I know everybody's doing vlogmas but I'm not doing that this year it is overwhelmingly impossible for me to do vlogmas at this point of my life right now um, with work with trying to maintain videos for my channel so I'm not going to overwhelm myself I'm gonna try to keep up with my own flow and keep these videos coming for y'all I love you y'all keep watching